it is the first of two practice session standalone cup series races this season and we head out to the midwest tonight for the running of the digital ally 400 at kansas speedway last week in dover we struggled a little bit and ended up finishing 17th can we stop our early season slide to be ahead in the summer stretch and warm into the summer where the heat rises, tempers are going to flare, hot tempers, hot track, under the lights, Saturday night. I'm excited. Uh, Denny Hamlin won his second race of the year on Sunday in Dover for those who were who didn't watch it on the Sunday race. Let's go race. Joey Logano won the pole earlier this afternoon. Ryan Blaney ended up getting in a wreck in qualifying. BJ McLeod failed technical inspection. And Michael McDowell failed the optical st scanning station. And we ended up doing the same thing Blaney did. So only 36 cars really took time. Green flag is underway tonight at Kansas Speedway. Already, turn one, caution waves. Bert will roam Spain in turn one for Dylan Merway. Oh, quickie yellow, green flag. even take time today. They already got in trouble. Church Jr. gets five bonus points for leading that lap. As he, we do complete one lap of green flag racing here in this stage. And not for much, almost not for much longer. As Dylan Merwood tangled with Ryan Priest, though, the Daytona 500 winner. We'll see how that goes. They did able, were able to save it. As Trex leads this lap from now four. So Will Priest is checking up on Balicki. Is this lap Dylan going all the way downstairs to pass those two? And by Johnson and Bubba Wallace. Jimmy Johnson, as a reminder, is in his final full-time season as a cup competitor. He has one win to his name at Kansas, and that was in the fall of 2011, and a late race restart against Casey Kane, while other championship foes, such as Tony Stewart, struggled most of the afternoon. Jimmy Johnson also won the 2008 running of the event back when it was only one race in the fall. He never won the spring race. His, or sorry, he also won the 2015 race. Wow, I need to brush up on my flag. Holy shit. He won the 2015 race, so he is, knows how to get around here in Kansas. Won two events in the fall. And the he actually won the second night race. That was run here for the Cup Series. Teammate Jeff Gordon won in 2014. Don 
or one made his way up into the seventh position. I'm sorry, eighth position. They're going to take seven from Logano. That Newman up ahead. Yeah, Ryan Newman with a great run so far tonight. So you got Hamlet, or Trex, Hamlin, Bowman, Kurt Busch, and Ryan Newman rounding out the top five. Chris Busher ending up in the sixth position as we're just about to be halfway through stage number one. Or trying to see if he can get by those two. He's going to drop with Newman, push him past Kurt Bush. Three wide there. Going to contact. Newman drops out. Kurt Bush bringing the same car he won Vegas with. All he needs to hope for is if there's a Late race caution or caution on the last lap that ends the race. He'll be in the right place at the right time. That's all Bush needs to see. Yeah, anyway. Can Dylan Merwin's right front make it eight more laps? Stage one. Closing in on Alex Bowman to take third. Dylan drops down low. Oh, crash. Turn one. And somehow they save it. But they do not. Caution comes out. Kurt Bush is also around. Second caution flag of the night. I guess the right front couldn't hold. That's the downside of burning on the apron. You get a lot of dirt and crap on your tires. You eventually, if you cut back up, get towards turn one. Dylan well, timed it a little too late. Truex brings him down for the restart here in stage one. Big cluster. Harvick sideways saves it. They're four wide behind that. A lot of checking up. Harvick with a big head of steam. McLeod all over him. Five wide. They come home in. Somehow they save it. A lot of drivers from the track back there. That we wouldn't normally expect up front. Decided to opt for strategy here to maybe get some stage points. Guys like Timmy Hill, Ricky Stenhouse, Daryl Wallace, Tyler Reddick, all of them opted to stay out. Two to go. Going to get to the start finish line. Tricks in a runaway so far. He led pretty much all the laps here in stage one. But can he hold for two more? Dylan Merlin's got a lot of fresh rubber on his tires. He's looking to run him, try to run him down. He probably will here by the time they get stage one is done. Out of turn four, they'll see the white flag here. For the first time in stage one tonight.
Norway narrowing the gap to less than half a second now. And the caution has come out. Back in turn two. A lot of aggressive tire wear so far. Cooler track. I guess that means more tire wear on the cars. But anyways, Martin Truex is one stage one. Dylan Norway, Kurt Busch, Brad Keselowski, Tyler Reddick, Brian Blaney, Eric Jones, Kevin Harvick, BJ McLeod, and Denny Hamlin all have earned stage points. The car that brought out this yellow is Daryl Wallace. Dylan Merway, however, is the only car in this group that did not pit. Green flag. Darrell Wallace Jr. was the reason for the stage end. And then yellow. Racing side by side with Truex going to turn one. Oh boy. Now Dylan Merway is going to try to take control of the stage. to probably pit at some point. Point tonight. 16 laps to go on stage two. Dylan Merway gets some bonus points. So after this race was, stage was dominated so far by the 19 Truex, Dylan Merway has assumed control in that Harry Gant colored Chevrolet. I had a little late Saturday night crank it up. the top five as of right now. Dylan Merway leads, followed by Martin Truex in second, Denny Hamlin third, Ryan Blaney fourth, and Kurt Busch running out the top five. The King of Speedway, Darrell Wallace has been checked and released from the infield care center after he was crashed a few months ago that ended stage one. It was fun, just as Dylan Merway was going to make a run at Truex to try to take the stage win, and end his perfect run in stage one, Daryl Wallace crashes in turn one. He has been checked and released, so it will be a couple weeks for hiccups or him before he gets another crack at it in Coca Cola 600. Sunday night at the end of the month, 7 o'clock Eastern. Dylan Merway is on a roll right now. He's led all the laps in 
stage two. Denny Hamlin is taking second away from Martin Truex. His car is starting to fade a little bit. DJ McLeod has come into the picture. Don't know how that happened. He was in the top five. And he just passed Brian Blaney for fourth. And if he keeps up, he'll probably pass Truex for third. McLeod with the underrated car this season. While well, we're on the subject of surprising season so far, it's surprising to see Kenseth getting into that 42 and run as well as he had so far tonight for this season. BJ McLeod, especially for being one of the more smaller teams, he's able to race up there with a guy like Kyle Busch this season. He's doing, doing pretty well tonight. There's Dylan Miller. He's, he's going to have to pit probably in the next lap or two regarding tires. Next lap, next lap, bud. Next lap. Uh, I'm a little worried about that right front. Should be enough to get you through to the end of the stage. Second, all right, pit this time, pit this time, pit, pit, pit. Watch it, watch it. Good save, good save. Get back going. Get back going. You're going to probably lose the lead here to Danny Ocean. Wow, these tires are gone. There's Dylan Miller making the slow journey to pit road. And yet his pit stop in tonight. down by the way Martin Truex has reassumed the lead from Denny Hamlin his teammate and oh boy very careful with that apron and back up like that it's still no way blending back in line got six laps to go see what the leaders are going to do with trying to get back up Trying to maybe pit or not. And crash! Merway's around. And Martin Truex will win stage number two. Wow. I don't think I kind of glanced at before it cut to this. Terrible night for the Hendrick camp. Guys like Chase Elliott and Jimmy Johnson. William Byron. Terrible night. The only Hendrick car that's in the top 10 is Alex Bowman, and he's barely hanging on. Martin Truex, Denny Hamlin, BJ McLeod, Kevin Harvick, Ryan Blaney, Chris Buescher, Ryan Newman, Kurt Busch, Brad Keselowski, and Alex Bowman will round out the top 10. Dylan Merwin has elected to wave around as we have begun the final stage here. Kansas speed rate tonight. Green flag.
Truex has swept the first two stages. Can he go for a hat trick tonight? Won the 2017 race by doing just that. Could get his second win at Kansas Speedway tonight. And he's able to hold on just for 28 more laps. Hamlin takes the lead back. And Eric Jones slides, is around, crash, collects Christopher Bell, caution waves. Christopher Bell gets into the accident there with Eric Jones as he spins heading towards turn one. Green flag back into the air for a quick restart. Your marks get back up there. Just keep hitting your marks, bro. Just keep going. And still mowing and split Chase Elliott in the middle through wide there. Drop all the way to the apron, get by a few cars. 23 to go here in Kansas. Hamlin on the inside, Truex on the outside. Kurt Busch about to reassume the lead. Very surprising run for him. First multi-win season since the 2015 campaign for him personally. He won the Vegas race and Town Vega, both of which featured a wreck on the final lap. If he, heck, if he wins tonight, he'll probably have to run through a wreck on the final lap. It's, looks like BJ McLeod is up there battling with him. Alex Bowman having a solid top five night, being the only person that's carrying a rather disappointing Hendrick showing. That's Chris Busher up there as well in the 17th and fourth. Can Truex run down Dylan Merway? You'll just, or Benny Hamlin, you'll just have to wait and see. 20 to go and to get to the line. Bowman goes downstairs a little bit on a couple cars. He's going to try to go down low on Busher. Norway McLeod racing for third. Oh, there he is. Oh, Bowman, just as I was talking about him. Gets into an accident heading towards turn one. Caution waves. Get set for another restart. 18 to go. Josh Balicki is leading him down. God, I've seen it. Josh Balicki could win this race if this keeps up. I think he stayed out. A lot of, in fact, a few other cars stayed out by the looks of it. That's why this guy like Chase Elliott has it. Right, could use the track position. Guys like him, Johnson, Byron. In fact, probably a good majority of the cars in this group all stayed out due to two tires. There's Brennan gone. Daniel Suarez. Chad Fincham, B.J. McLeod, all of those guys stayed out due to old tires. Because Fincham just held the field up. Oh, Nelly. Oh, and a wreck behind. 
behind them. Ty Dillon. And another restart. Get a lot of short runs come to the end. Green flag. Now BJ McLeod is up front. There's Daniel. Isn't that Daniel Suarez up there? Looks like it might be a black car. Could be a black Toyota. Second, there's a couple Toyotas there. Black looks like Trux and Suarez fight for second, but can't they gang up on BJ McLeod? Look at this big mess. Dylan trying to team up with Blaney. Oh, crash, Logano. I think Logano got hammered. Wow. There's Trex and BJ McLeod on the front row now. Green flag. Heavy damage to that 22 car. Like Lagana might have been the only victim in that. Nine to go. Do they make it nine laps? Is going to be the thing. Marwood moves him going up to fifth. He's got BJ McLeod up there in fourth. Oh, Keslowski getting in there. From sixth. Any all is really there. Eight to go. Dive into that corner, Bowman into the wall. Bowman might be out of it. It's like William Byron is starting to have a little bit of a rebound run. Seven to go. Hamlin and Truex fighting for the win. The top three drivers with multiple wins, all in one group, each of which looking for a third. Trex in the middle, Hamlin up high, Murway down low, Ham Murway launches into Hamlin. In the line, six to go. Murway pulling even with Truex. Truex gets the nose to one. He's got it. Murway to the point. He can stop both. Runs now the three wide coming down the back stretch. This could get ugly. Watch these two, watch these two. Trucks and Norway fight for second. Hamlin looking in the middle. This brings Busher back into the mix. Oh, Truex is around. The car that's led the most laps has spun. Lights here at Kansas. And so far, it looks like he might be the only one. Another late restart. Three to go. Denny Hamlin leads. 
and we get uh, do we get another yellow or do we send her to overtime? We have two laps. Head of steam. Can they make it? And there's trouble behind them. McDowell, Timmy Hill, caution waves. Denny Hamlin did not need this. Now we're in overtime. Do we make it around in one piece or do we rack them up and try it again? We'll do it as many times as it takes, but knowing this race, it could be a while. So we'll start on the inside. We're away all the way to the apron. Look out. Three and four, Hamlin leading, firing, amazing save by him. Jones is around again, hard crash, and the caution has come out. Denny Hamlin wins Kansas. Eric Jones with a hard crash late. Denny Hamlin, Martin Truex, Alex Bowman, BJ McLeod, Chris Buescher, Ryan Blaney, Brad Kay, Kurt Busch, Ryan Newman, and Kevin Harvick will round out the top 10. Great run again for the Roush cars. Tyler Reddick, Daniel Suarez with decent runs tonight. Bowman nearly had a shot at winning this thing. Uh, at least kind of lighten up a poor shot by Hendrick. They got Dylan Murray, Eric Jones. They got together, come to the white. At the white. William Byron, 17th. And Chase Elliott struggled tonight. Jimmy Johnson especially struggled. Ended up 28. Not a good look for him. Austin Dillon struggled again. Ryan Priest. Justin Haley, David Reagan were the last two cars that completed the race tonight. Darrell Wallace Jr. had a crash in stage one. That ended his night. So we can move Denny Hamlin up to first on the wins chart. into the brief, all brief break and the Coca-Cola 600. Actually, if you remember this promotion or stuff, we'll go to that in a bit. So Denny Hamlin wins the his third race of the season. He won at Richmond. He won last week at Dover. For, Drive to go back to back since Dylan Murray earlier this season. So, Dylan Murray led the fastest lap. Truex led the most, or led pretty much half the race. Uh, BJ McLeod had a great run tonight for that small home team, and Austin Dillon. 
started with sixth tonight and ended up third and second. Uh, getting close to 12.30 a.m. out east on Sunday. Or sorry, 1 or 2 a.m. actually. Obviously, the second annual Memorial Day Bash will be a Rumble exclusive. I will be posting a link to that. Um, next week, if you, or in a couple weeks, if you want some more NASCAR Heat 5 content, Friday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, will be the North Carolina Education Lottery 200. Saturday afternoon at noon Eastern, note that, noon Eastern, will be the Allsco Uniforms 300, and then Sunday at 7 o'clock will be the NASCAR Heat 5 Coca-Cola 600. The Memorial Day Bash, here's how it will look. 3 o'clock Eastern will be the pre-show, so 1 o'clock Mountain, 2 o'clock Central, 12 o'clock for you folks out on the West Coast, and then 4 o'clock Eastern. Then obviously, add an hour will be the second hour of Memorial Day ever Memorial Day bash. And keep in mind that will be three o'clock Central, uh, two o'clock Mountain, and one o'clock for you folks out west. So, congratulations to Denny Hamlin. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Till then. Have a great night.